This is the Wusthof Classic Chef's Knife, and this is the Wusthof Icon Chef's Knife. Both are made in Germany. Both have forged blades that are made of the same high carbon stainless steel. Both are sharpened to the same 14 degree angle per side, and both have triple riveted full tang handles. So what are the differences between these knives, and is the Icon series worth the higher price? In this video, I give you a side-by-side -side comparison of Wusthof Classic versus Icon. And at the end, I'll share some lower cost alternatives to also consider. The first difference you'll notice is the shape and design of their handles. Wusthof Classic handles are made of polyoxymethylene, which is a durable and fade-resistant plastic. These handles are flat on each side and slightly rounded on the top and bottom. They're wider in the middle and have a distinct curve at the butt end to prevent your hand from slipping. They're black with a matte finish and the red Wusthof logo printed between the rivets. There are two versions of Wusthof Icon, and the only difference between them is the material of the handles. The version referred to as just icon has African blackwood handles. This natural wood is dense, smooth, and has a fine grain structure, giving these knives a more elegant and upscale look. The other version is called Classic Icon. These knives have a polyoxymethylene handle, just like the Classic series. The handles on both Icon and Classic Icon have rounded edges, smooth curves, and a beautiful steel end cap with the Wusthof logo. Besides the difference in shape, Icon handles are a quarter inch longer and noticeably wider than Classic handles. Icon's handles are 20 millimeters from side to side, and the Classic handle is only 16.7 millimeters wide. Icon's wider handles fill up your hand and feel a little more bulky. It's easy to wrap your palm around Classic's narrower handles, especially if you have smaller hands. Another key difference between the Classic and Icon series is that Classic knives feature a full bolster that extends down to the heel of the blade. Icon knives have a semi or half bolster that stops about a half inch from the heel. Some people love Wusthof Classic's full bolster because it adds weight and balance to the center of the knife and acts as a barrier to prevent your hand from slipping onto the blade. But others hate it because the edge of the bolster can dig into your hand when using the pinch grip and the heel of the blade is too thick to sharpen. Icon's half bolster allows you to sharpen the entire edge all the way down to the heel. However, I've noticed that the edges of the bolster are just as sharp as they are on the classic knife. So using the pinch grip on Icon knives for long periods can also be uncomfortable. If you like using the pinch grip, the most comfortable knife is the Zwilling Pro because the bolster is curved with no sharp edges. Icon knives are heavier than classic. For example, the Icon 8-inch chef's knife weighs 9.9 .9 ounces, and the classic 8-inch chef's knife weighs 9.2 ounces. Due to Icon's longer and wider handle and steel end cap, this knife is back heavy or handle heavy. The balance point is about an inch behind the blade. If you're used to a blade heavy or center balance knife, this knife can feel awkward at first and take a while to get used to. The balance point of classic knives is right in the center. To me, this feels more comfortable and easier to control. Another notable difference between these series is the number of knives available. Classic is Wusthof's original and most extensive series with over a hundred different knives. The blades on these knives are different shapes and sizes, and they offer several handle colors, but every knife shares the same forged German steel, full tang, and traditional triple riveted handle. The Classic Icon series includes nearly 50 unique knives, while the Icon series with African blackwood handles only has 15 knives. The Classic series is more affordable than both Icon and Classic Icon. For example, the Classic 8-inch Chef's Knife is currently listed for $170 on Wusthof.com. The Classic Icon is $200. And because of its natural wood handles, the Icon 8-inch Chef's Knife costs $285. So are Wusthof Icon knives worth the higher price? or is the Classic Series a better investment? I love the look of Icon knives, but I strongly prefer the feel of Classic handles. They are less bulky, and the wider part in the middle of the handle fits more naturally with the curves of my hand. That said, comfort is subjective, so you might prefer Icon's thicker handles and off-center balance point. If you like everything about Wusthof Classic except the full bolster, they make a limited selection of knives with a half bolster. Another option is a brand called Mizen. These knives have a similar handle design as Wusthof Classic, but they have a semi bolster and cost half the price. If you choose Icon, I strongly suggest the Classic Icon series with plastic handles. And if it's out of your budget, consider the Kangshan Helena series. These knives are made of the same steel and have a similar handle design, 
but costs less than half the price. The Icon series with African blackwood handles is way overpriced in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, the handles look great, but they add nothing in terms of performance. If you really want the look of natural wood, consider the Victorinox Grand Matra collection. Like the Icon series, these knives have forged blades, half bolsters, and beautiful natural wood handles that curve down towards the butt end. With these knives, you get the high-end look of Icon, but at a cost more in line with classic Icon and classic. If you're ready to buy, I'll link to both Wusthof series and the more affordable alternatives in the video description. Those are affiliate links, so I'll earn a commission if you click and buy, but at no extra cost to you. If this was helpful, check out this video where I break down the differences between Wusthof and its biggest competitor, Zwilling. And for more videos like this, click the logo to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.